Hello, my friends. Peace, shalom, salam, aloha, namaste, blessed be, and may the great spirit walk with you. My name is Jonathan Rydell, Director of Christian Education at the First Congregational Church in Chappaqua. And today is a brand new year. I hope this New Year's Day is a joyous and relaxing time for you. You might be excited or anxious to think, dream, hope about what this next year will be like for you. All over the world, people want to start a new year with celebration and prayers for luck. They also make resolutions. A resolution is a decision to do something or not do something. And in the case of New Year's resolutions, these are promises to do things that will make your life better. Some people make a resolution to read more books or stop eating sweets or get more exercise or finish a big project they've been working on. It can be difficult to keep these promises for an entire year, but if we try, we will learn something about ourselves, about life, about God, and about the world. There are plenty of examples we can think of in stories, movies, real life, and throughout history of people making really big changes in their life. In the Bible, many of Jesus' followers leave their homes and their jobs to follow him and live bitter lives. Luke Skywalker decides to train with Master Yoda and become a powerful Jedi Knight. You might know people who learn that they are allergic to a food, so they give it up and suddenly they feel much healthier. If you see an opportunity to make a good, clear change like that, great, do it, and don't look back. But changes in resolutions don't have to be big to be important. It's also true that life involves balance. The book of Ecclesiastes, which is also part of the Bible, says, To everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. Which is to say, there is a right time for everything. A time to eat sweets and a time to eat vegetables. A time to work and a time to play. A time to be happy and a time to be sad. Maybe this year you want to talk a little less and listen a little more. Or maybe you want to spend a little more time outside and a little less time on screens. In these cases, we don't need to make big changes, just shift the balance a little bit. This, In this way, little changes will go a long way. So what is a resolution you want to make for this year? What's one thing or one big thing or little thing that's going to change your life for the better? I hope this year you will find the strength and courage within yourself to make your life a little happier and a little healthier. And if you need it, you can always ask God or the ones you love for help. Amen. All right, my children, I love you. Happy New Year. Have an amazing start to an amazing year. Bye-bye.